All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, we're back in with our inventory system, and this is going to be the last video for the series because uh, basically we're adding one last detail, and then basically our inventory system is done. Um, as it stands right now, we have all the functionality working as of the last tutorial, so I'll have a link to that one here. Um, so we can basically pick up, pick up all our objects, and we can just switch them around, and then we can also drag them and drop it into our scene. And we can pick it back up, and it shows up back into our scene as well. Uh, so the last thing we're going to do is have it so that when the player gets near the item, before they pick it up, they can just see what the name of it is. We could actually show, like, on screen the name of it. So to do that, we need to go back into one of the inventory uh, classes for the blueprints. So we created a BP underscore inventory item child class. <clears throat> and in here, it's just right now a circle. So what we're going to add to it is a new component. And we're going to basically add a text renderer. And we'll name this uh, display item name. And we're just going to maneuver the text so that we can see it. We can compile it. And if we go into our scene, uh, we can kind of tell what it's doing. So right now, that's not how we wanted to have it displayed. So let's go back into our inventory item child. And basically we need to view it like this. So let's maneuver it. If we compile and save now, it's displayed, but it's kind of ahead of it. So we want to basically put it on the same plane. So we can just move it back down, compile, and it looks close. Uh, we can move it down just a little bit more. And that works for me. So right now they all say text above them. And uh, just for the rotation, just so you guys know, uh, it's negative 90 in the X, 90 in the Y, and then 0 in the Z for rotation. And now that we have the text displaying the way we need to, let's remove the word text here in the text field. Let's just make it blank for right now. Let's compile that. And now what we need to do is go into the graph of the blueprint for the inventory child. And this is where we're going to tell it when to not display the text. So it's going to basically be when the player is about 150 uh, units away from the item that will display. And if you're closer than that, it will stay displayed. But if you're further than 150 units away, it's going to disappear. So what we need to do is get the actor location of both the player and the item mesh. So what we can do is just get the actor location. And it uses the self, which is this blueprint. And then we need to get player character. And then grab get actor location. And we basically need to subtract these vectors from each other. So we're just subtracting the vectors of the object and the player. And what we want to do now is get the vector length. So it gets the length of that vector. And that's from here. That's where we can compare everything, like the distances. But we first want to get an event tick, just so it's checking this every second here. And then we can drag out of here. We'll do compare float. And the tick is going to go into the executable pin. And then we're going to hard code 150 here. And so if it's greater than, uh, so let's see here. So, so if the input for the vector is greater than 150, we want to hide the uh, display item name. So let's get that variable. And let's do set visibility. Leave everything default valued. And let's just connect that in. Uh, but if it's less than or equal to, that's when we want to show the display name. So all we really have to do is copy and paste that and check visibility and plug these two in. And then once we show it, that's when we want to set a value to that text. So let's right click and let's do uh, get inventory item name. And then we're going to do a set text for the item name. So let's grab another get a display item name. We'll do set text. 
And then we need to convert uh, the name into a string. So it does that automatically for us. And that's all we really need to do. So what we're doing again is just getting the, getting the actor location of this blueprint and compare it to the player's location, get the vector length of that. And we're going to check if that vector length is greater than or equal to 150. If it's greater than that, we're not going to show any text. If it's greater, if it's less than that, that's when we're going to show the text and then set the text to the inventory item name uh, of the blueprint that it's close to. So let's hit compile. Let's hit save. And now as we get close to this one, it should say backpack. And it does. And then you move away. Next one says top hat. Uh, what we may need to do <clears throat> is just mess with the location here. So let's just move that over a little bit. Compile, save it again. Let's see if this works. So it said backpack. This one says top hat. This one says jump rope. This one says book. And that one says key. And then if we draw back out and we get near it, it'll say key again. So that's really it. Um, so uh, this is going to be the end of this tutorial series. Uh, I'm going to link uh, at the end of the video, the very first episode, I'm going to send a, send a link to uh, the tutorial playlist. So if you want to start from the beginning, you can do so there. Um, and I do hope you guys learned a lot or learned something useful for your projects. This is something that I needed to learn for my point and click game that I'm slowly working on. Uh, so if you did like the video, uh, then that definitely send a like, uh, comment, subscribe, do all that nonsense. Um, but for now, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, I just want to say thanks again for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, again, like, subscribe to my channel for Devin Level Design. You can do so by clicking on me or the subscribe button at the top. Uh, and also on the right hand side, there's going to be a link to the playlist for this tutorial series. So you'll get to start from the beginning. Um, but there will also be videos for more blueprint examples and tutorials for you guys to check out as well. Uh, so again, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!